And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Very interesting day coming up on Wednesday. It's going to be a first alert day. We've got a couple of things going on. We've got the potential for some thunderstorm activity in the eastern, southeastern portions of the Panhandle. And then across the west, we have a higher fire danger for much of the day. That picture, by the way, that's a thunderstorm that roared about a year ago through, uh, just under a year ago, through Happy, dropped some golf ball size hail. Uh, Tracy and I were chasing that one, got that picture. So for the most part, mostly sunny day. Now storms will develop in the afternoon. This is going to be, say, after 2 or 3 o'clock in the eastern parts of the region. Fire danger higher in the afternoon across the western portions of the region. Warm day, that's well above average, that 91 there. And a little breezy, obviously, um, but the fire danger. Okay, let's talk about CAPE, Convective Available Potential Energy. Doesn't mean there will be storms. It's just a measure of is there enough potential energy to support thunderstorms if they're able to form. And so this is early in the morning, not too bad. It goes northward, that cape, you can see along the Texas-Oklahoma border. And then, boom, in the afternoon, we got a lot of cape in place by 2, 3 o'clock. Interesting on this model, watch the thunderstorms develop and that kind of stabilizes the atmosphere. Whoop, so the cape goes away and we'll look at the actual model in just a second. From the Storm Prediction Center, and this will be updated Wednesday morning, yellow areas, it's about Perryton, Pampa, Clarendon, Kitty Quay, Turkey, eastward. That's the highest likelihood of thunderstorms. The rain chances are not necessarily particularly high, but if we develop those storms, they have a higher likelihood of becoming severe. So rain chances 20, 30% in any one spot. A little bit less likely, but still possible in the darker green areas for the afternoon. We'll have a dry line set up. Moisture will come, that's the green, northwestward from the Gulf of Mexico. That dry line may be a little bit further east, but the eastern half of the panhandle. And we'll also watch what we call the cap. You've heard of the cap. That's that layer of warm air a couple of thousand feet up that inhibits thunderstorm development. We had a stronger cap last week, and that's one of the things that saved us from the thunderstorms developing. There was still that potential. The cap seems to be a little bit weaker, so it might be easier for those thunderstorms to develop. On the wildfire side, boy, we've been really good about keeping those sparks down, and so let's keep doing that. Lower relative humidity, higher winds, warm temperatures mean a red flag warning for the western portion of the region. Relative humidity starts out not too bad in the morning, but by afternoon we go to single digits in some spots, and that's where we really worry about that higher fire danger. Here's one of the computer forecast models. Start the day pretty quiet. By 2 o'clock, mm, we start to see some possible development. Watch that increase in coverage as we go on into and through the afternoon. There's 4 p.m. right there. Obviously, the target area would be either side of Memphis in between Childress and uh, Clarendon. And those storms would continue to develop, increase in coverage, and move eastward into the western portions of Oklahoma through the afternoon. And then the southeastern portion of the region will continue to see uh, some storms until about 8 or 9 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock. And those would then move on into Oklahoma and northwest Texas. Seven day supercast, first alert day. 20% rain chance, Amarillo eastward, a little higher toward the border. 91, breezy day, again, first alert day. 75, cooler behind a cold front that'll drop in behind this thing. Sunshine, looks like a good day on Thursday. Small chance for a few scatter showers on Friday. Of the weekend days, the greater chance of a thunderstorm finding your yard and watering it will be on Saturday. The severe threat will be a bit lower, given the temperatures are a little cooler, 67 on Saturday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday look pretty quiet next week.